to sketch spray painting, crafting and do-it-yourself art. It is just frozen, I can't do anything. Bambi! What's up my great awesome YouTubers, welcome to SketchArt. In today's video I won't spray paint anything. I just want to show you how I spray paint in these extreme cold conditions. I mean they're not extreme conditions, but for spray painting and to make good painting in these conditions, it is really important to keep your spray cans under pressure. I mean I love to spray paint when it's high pressure in spray cans because your spray paint cover really nice and it's really nice and fine particles and of course you get that with higher pressure. But when it is low pressure in spray cans and when paint is cold it is just not good you cannot do stencils because paint go out of spray cans in a big particles and then go under stencil and yeah it's not good outside is minus five celsius degrees and this is like crazy for spray painting you cannot literally do anything on this temperature but i need to spray paint because i have so many orders right now and i'm really stuck with orders temperature that i can work with it's plus seven degrees celsius but even then i need heater to heat Paintings. I ran out of gas for my heater, so I'm just gonna grab some gas and refill it and connect it to my heater. I mean, this setup is nothing special, but it works for me, and this is like, I think, fourth season that I'm working with these conditions. So, yeah, let's just go. I need to carry it in one hand because in other hand I have my camera. <laughs> I found it. So basically, it's this one. This is actually heater, the same that I have. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And the price is 139 euros. So yeah, pretty simple and I'm gonna show you now in my setup. It's 5.28 and outside it's dark. It's like it's midnight. So yeah, this is my working setup here. You saw it probably more than once. And as usual, it's mess right here. But I don't really care because it's sign that this something is happening here. So this is my heater. Basically, I'll show you, I already show you in store. And as you can see, this is used so much and yeah i think i'm using this heater for like i don't know four years right now and yeah it worked pretty well i spray painted here because i was trying to see if maybe spray can catch the fire but everything worked really nice i never had any problem with gas leaking or with firing or with gases and that's why i love to work outside because working with spray cans 
inside it's crazy for me it's really hazard and for, especially for your lungs so yeah as you can see I have plenty of space I could make inside so yeah I could make studio inside and down in basement I have same empty space like this but I don't like to use it for spray painting because I already said it's not safe for your breathing and yeah is it cold outside yes it's cold as hell but I prefer to work outside more than inside so this is basically terrace heater and we're gonna put new gas bottle here inside <laughs> My hands are frozen right now. Now we're gonna open the valve. So as you can see, here are my spray cans. Yeah. You see the texture of cold spray can? So I'm gonna put it right here and let it heat for about 5-10 minutes so you can see the difference. And another bottle goes to closet. Three minutes later, only three minutes later, after we heat it. Check this out. I don't know, do you see? It's more nice than this one. Check this out. It's spraying so bad. And check this one. It's not enough, but after 10 minutes, I think it could be protect myself from someone who might use it in a wrong way and then say yo sketch told me I'm not saying this is safest way I'm just saying this works for me so yeah I try to keep this video short and effective and this is how I managed to finish my work during this cold winter days I hope you will find it useful and yeah that's all see you next pre-paint video mm -hmm.